What's going on, people? This is another edition of the Ace Takers Rant. And we're going to focus on the results now of Idol Week Number Four of the competition right now. Um, you know, pretty predictable night. MK went home. You know, I, I think that most people saw that coming. You know, I mean, you know, I, I, I don't think it was a mystery that she was going home. Uh, there was almost sort of like a tease there that they might use to save on her, but they ultimately didn't. I think there was discussion that they were going to use it, but then they ultimately probably um, decided, probably one or two of them probably decided that, no, we're not going to use it. And I, they shouldn't have used it. They, they really need to wait to use that thing until they get to a point where they really got a fucking contestant down there who really needs to stay in the competition. So... Um, I always like for them to use it a little bit later in the competition when everything is so tight between, you know, everybody, you know, do it like that, you know what I mean? Um, let me just address something real quick. Um, just want to thank everybody. I had like f over 40 views, uh, for my rant video yesterday and, uh, you know, this is really the first video on this particular channel that I really got, really, really got going, um. Uh, you know, like I said, this is, you know, I've been trying to get these kind of videos out and um, I think they'll keep going from here. So hopefully more and more people listen. Hopefully some of you guys keep coming back every week to listen. Uh, I hope to do one every week. You know, I'm doing this one kind of late because I was I had a lot of work uploading these videos tonight. A lot of stuff going on. So all over the place. So, you know, I'm finally done with my work. So uh, for the night. Uh, but yeah, guys, I mean, you know, just everything, uh, I think, I think, you know, the way the eliminations have been going right now, uh, ever since last week, I, I think that we're kind of in that direction where it should be. I think the right people are, are leaving the show at this point. You know, I didn't agree with the first two, Chris, Christian and, uh, Emily, uh, I thought they should still be here, um. Uh, Man, I, I still wonder if both of them were still here, if they would have grew a lot more. Because everybody else is growing in this competition, and it's pretty good. Like, uh, when I looked at the bottom three tonight, um, it was pretty much MK. It, 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 it wasn't the one that I predicted. I only had MK right, but I did say there was a chance Majesty was going to be down there, maybe Dexter. Uh... Dexter and Majesty ended up being in there, but I said it was just a chance that really wasn't a prediction, a straight on prediction, so I can't take credit for that. Because uh, I did have CJ in there instead of Dexter. But it looks like the country people stood by CJ this week, which is weird because I was hearing so many criticisms about his performance, like he was not good this week or whatever. And I was like, and I disagree with those people. I said that he was just a little bit off, but he wasn't bad, though. The, I, I thought Dexter was actually off his game a little bit. Um, and he went a safe route, so Dexter could be in danger. I mean, if the, if the country fans didn't support him this week, man, he has another bad week coming up. Oh, man, I mean... Yeah, he he could be in some trouble here, man. I didn't really think Dexter would, would see the bottom three this soon. I thought it'd at least be a, uh, another two or three weeks before he even smells the bottom three. But he smelt it early, man. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, you know, it, 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 it's a little bit... It's a little bit... Um, it's a little bit weird, but that's how it goes. I mean, I, I'm, I'm guessing, you know, this stuff here and there. I don't know. You know, the, the, the country vote is an unpredictable one. It, it, it's, it looks predictable, to say, but it's actually unpredictable. And sometimes I think because I think the thing that's hurting both guys, CJ and Dexter, even though they had Ben's votes this week, I think one of them was not going to benefit from it. And I should have stated that in my rant yesterday that one of them was not going to benefit from it. And I think they're buying CJ. And the thing about CJ, CJ's actually got another audience out there. You know, he's got, like I told you, he's got the black people getting for him, getting behind because he's the only black male left in the competition. He also has some of them soul people, some of them jazz people that like him. 
he's got some he's got some other voters out there, man. I think that's why he didn't make it down there. Um, and then if he has a good week this week, man, he's not even going to smell the bottom three. I'm really starting to think CJ is dangerous now. The fact that he didn't get in the bottom three on the week that he should have been in the bottom three. Oh my God, you know he, he's going to be dangerous. Uh, no doubt about it. So there's some there's some worry there. I do think for Majesty, I think that'll be the last time we see her in the bottom three for a while. I think she's going to kind of have. It depends if she if she fucks up next week. You know, we might not see her. She's got to stick with what she's been doing because. Um, in my opinion, she shouldn't have been in the bottom three at all. But you know, to me, I think she, could, I think, I think she could get people to grow on her if she has another good performance next week. Because I think people still don't really trust her right now. But oh, that's all she needs. And I think once she gets that, uh, we'll, we'll see something uh, come through right now. You know, so. Uh, we'll see what ends up happening uh, with that with that little with that little picture there. But um, I expect you know I expect pretty good pretty good stuff out of Majesty. You know to be honest with you. Um, pretty much everyone else who made it, congratulations to them. Um, the first one that made it through was Jessica. I was like, yay, Jessica. Then it was Caleb, Jenna, my top three. They were in and. Uh, and uh, pretty much everyone else was predictable. The only one I didn't agree with was Sam. I was like, um, Sam, uh, why were you in the top uh, bottom three this week? I mean, I, like I said, he did improve, but I don't know about that dude, man. That dude ain't, he ain't on his game like that, man. I think that, uh, like I said, the teeny boppers are going to support this kid. And that's really, what it, that's really what it's coming down to right now. The, the teeny boppers, got the, they got this kid's back right now. And to me, what's got to end up happening is, you know, if he has a bad week, I think he needs to go home before anybody else next week. Because now now, now there's no MK. There's no MK in the competition this week. Now it's pretty much Dexter, Sam, Majesty, you know, some of these that's, that's been down there. This is, the, this is a huge week for them because, I mean... The, like I said, this this is why I say the real competition starts in fucking mid-April, man, because everything starts to get tight. Everything, you know, the, the, the weaker performers, they're not there anymore. Like I said, we got about one or two more weak performers left before we can really move on and have a solid show from top to bottom, man. But, um, you know, like I said, you're not going to have them no more. You know what I mean? So, let me just address MK real quick. You know, it's not going to be a long video like my Wednesday one. Um, MK, man, uh, you know, she had some support there tonight. They were booing, man. They didn't want to see her go. That's the first time since someone been eliminated this season where there was a lot of booing. Emily had a little bit of support, too, when she left. Uh, I, think, I think MK, you know... It's kind of disappointing with MK because I think she could have been a powerhouse in this competition. She just was so off. I don't know what. It just never clicked. I don't know what it was. Uh, kind of emotional strings. I don't know what was going on behind the scenes with her. But she just wasn't putting it together, man. And it, it's kind of disappointing because I thought she would make it real far. You know, and it's not just because she would have got the gay voters. Uh, but she was actually a pretty good damn singer in this competition. But she just didn't. I don't know. It just didn't click. For her, honestly, man, and it's disappointing, man. Cause like I said, I do like I do like MK, man, and you know I, she'll be on the tour. That's a good thing about it. Uh, my whole thing with MK right now is is uh, uh, at this point is with MK. Um, is she is she gonna give up after that tour, or is she gonna stick with music because? To me, to be honest with you guys, I think she could still. I think she could still run some game in music. I think she, like I said, she's that damn talented. Where if she just works on some shit, gets some concentration, you know, because like Harry did say, did you really want to be in this competition? You know, I had to question her a little bit. You know, did she want to be here? And as I know, a lot of times that shit that shit could kind of change on people. 
Um, you know, you could, you could you could love everything at one point, and then you start to get humbled, and, and and you really don't, you're really not into the competition anymore. So I really did need to, I, I really did wonder about that from her. So hopefully going forward, it's not too bad for her, where you know she just suddenly drops out, and, and that's the, that goes for the other ones that were eliminated. Christian, she was a nurse. I don't know. She says she wants to go keep pursuing uh, music. I hope she does. You know, even though she's probably the one that's probably really got something to fall back on if you know this music thing didn't work. Emily's young, actually. I don't. Uh, I don't know, but you know, Emily needs to stick with it, man. Emily's got something too. Um, ben, I mean, it's over the hill. I don't know. I didn't, I didn't see too much specialness out of that guy. To be honest with you, I think he can make it. Maybe as a band. Maybe just in a band or something. Not really a lead piece. He's got a good voice though, but I, I don't know. You know, he'll probably stick with it. I don't know. You know, he. You know, it's hard to tell. You know, but he's in a genre where you know he could be supported. You know, country. So we'll see. You know, pretty much. Uh, you know, because that's the thing that I wonder about, you know, anytime someone gets eliminated, I just wonder about their future, so, uh, you know, we'll, we'll see what happens, man, uh, like I said, but the the, the, the cheer, the, the, the stools are getting hotter now, man, they're getting hotter now, because like I said, you know, if, you, if you're weak and you didn't step your game up, you will be gone, I'm telling you, you will be fucking gone in this competition, man, because... People are still really trying to figure out their favorites. There's still people just really settling down into this competition. So uh, we'll have to see what happens. Because, uh, like I said, man, it's it's getting down to the wire right now. <laughs> no doubt about it. Um, but that's going to be it for this edition. Like I said, it was going to be short um, because I did a big one yesterday. Uh... Usually I try to do, uh, you know, I try to wait till after the real show, but I, I just loved yesterday's episode so much I had to just do a video, I had just had to do a video, uh, and it was really long, man. So if you guys sat through that, and you're watching this one, man, I thank you for sitting through that, man, because I didn't realize it was going on an hour, uh, to be honest with you, man, so uh, thanks for that, you know, like I said, you know, I'll be back here next week, I'm going to rank everybody how they do. This is a very key week for a lot of the bubble artists, you know, uh, I mean, the, the bubble, um, uh, what was I trying to say, the bubble contestants, so, you know, the, these contestants, these, the, the now, now, like, Dexter, Majesty, Sam, they all know, they could, it could be home for them, you know. I think Dex is gone next week, guys. I think I think Dex is probably gone. Uh, that really shocked me that the country people didn't get after him this week, man. And if he fucks up next week, man, he's a goner. But I think he, I think it has to be a scenario where the only way he isn't a goner is if Majesty fucks up, maybe Sam fucks up, because outside of that, the other the other um, art uh, contestants they're not going to be gone. It's still going to take them some time to be gone. Uh, you know, so we'll see. Uh, thanks for listening, guys. Peace.